This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so I have completed that HTML5, uh, some uh, meaningful and uh, structural tax right in the previous class. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so today I'm going to start that complete uh, HTML5 template with all uh, components like uh, header navigation, slider image, and uh, some content box, okay, uh, footer, okay, where you are, you all like all the things will cover in the template, HTML5 template. Okay, so before going to that, we will select one any example uh, template here. Uh, that Okay. Okay. So this is some um, a good example. Okay. Uh, HTML template. Okay. So I'm going to cover uh, most of the things from this template, like uh, creating uh, the top headers, navigation with uh, drop downs. Okay. And uh, the carousel path. Okay. Select so, carousel means uh, slider. Okay. And some product images, some uh, text also. Okay. And uh, two column, two columns content. Okay. So the first column around 50%, uh, some content and one image. Like suppose about company, about uh, services related image. Okay. And uh, uh, the projects or portfolio, you can say projects or you can say portfolio also. Okay. And this is one. And the services, the listed out uh, services what they provided. Okay. Like uh, three columns. Okay. Suppose if you want to increase, you can add uh, one more row. And you can add uh, three more uh, services, three more columns also. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, some news like uh, blog related, you can use this kind of uh, layout. Okay. Uh, like image, a uh, title, and some text and read more button. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once click on the read more button, it will go to the complete uh, blog section. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one second. Uh, after one second. Okay. Hello? Hello? Ah, Satin. Linking a rather, eh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ralanka. Hello, 
hello yeah uh, okay 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 this is like a block kind of uh, related content okay mm -hmm. and uh, this is like testimonials okay clients testimonial section and uh, the finally photo on the bottom of the page okay so here the most of the things covered like a header okay content blocks okay, like portfolio or projects like blog information and like blog news, okay yeah. and uh, footer okay so here we are going to use html5 and html both not only uh, only html5 okay we are using the html4 like uh, header tags paragraph tags anchor links okay and uh, image for placing uh, any images okay uh, using the HTML4 and at the same time we are uh, writing the HTML5 tags also like meaningful tags like section, article, uh, navigation, header, okay like video, audio, uh, fig caption, figure, okay like a detail summary okay so here uh, in this example there is no any details and uh, summary example like accordion okay I will add it in, in this template okay so we can cover most of the things from this template but not, it, uh, not like the same it won't look like but we will uh, reach most of the part like this template okay. okay so here first i'm going to create one folder of this inside our uh, 7 a.m class okay so inside this i'm going to create one more new folder because again we are going to create uh, subfolders like uh, images css and media folders for the complete template okay uh, so here i'm going to write the html5 template okay inside this uh, like same like css css folder and uh, images folder and js okay these three is matter for any website or any template okay uh, so this folder i'm going to create one html5 page okay uh, so inside this html5 template uh, just click new file it can say like for example index.html index yes okay uh, so like some basic code like a uh, doc type meta title body so these are all required for uh, HTML page. Here you can say HTML file template. Okay, so now just like a blank template. Okay, so this like first I'm going to create like a uh, first a header part okay and then drop down on mouse over on the services okay so we are going to use the drop down okay so for this quotation button is like option you can use or you can no need to use this quotation now okay in the left side uh, some logo or company name and right side uh, this one, like navigation okay so first i'm going to create one container for this okay as i said before first uh, tag is section okay this will be like a, a main section in the page i'm going to say role is equal to main okay so inside the section i'm going to write all the information okay uh, like headers navigation the carousel part and content blocks and all. okay so here again uh, here uh, for the head uh, the top header in the html5 for the top header with the navigation some other elements we have head tag 
sorry, header. Okay, so this inside the header, I'm going to use that uh, company name and uh, navigation and all. Okay, so here I'm going to write uh, role is equal. Uh, here you can say uh, you can say main header or something. Okay, this is my one <coughs> role name. There is no any predefined. Okay, so inside the header. The first one, as I said in the intro class, HTML class, I'm going to use the H1. Okay, for placing your company logo, okay, or placing the company name, we are going to use uh, H1. And inside this, you can say, like for example, company name. Okay, or uh, you can use ing tag and you can place your company logo also. Okay, suppose if you place company logo, we should provide alternative text also for that logo some abc company like that mm -hmm. okay so this is uh, the first one uh, company name is my this one okay let me check so okay so this was displays uh, displayed as the same like uh, how it was before in the html intro class like left alignment black color uh, some default font okay and some space the top and bottom okay so this should be like within my uh, container so container is here if you see the navigation part uh, the left side and the right side some equal spaces there okay and the logo and navigation in center of the page okay so that means this header navigation inside our container so for example if you see the my container with this thousand pixel okay so inside the thousand pixel container i'm going to write all the header information and rest of the space uh, left side some 50 percent and right side 50 percent like equal space on both sides okay so this is you can say like a container and this is full screen container the slider part because there is no any space left side and right side it was used 100 percent okay so you can say full uh, full screen container and this is fixed container that i had the part and the carousel part is the full screen container in the bootstrap language you can say only this container okay and this is a fluid container the fluid container means like 100 percent uh, only container means like uh, some fixed container fixed value for like 1000 pixel or 1200 pixel or 1400 pixels as per your device requirement okay you can give uh, 1000 pixel 1200 pixel 400 pixel as per your requirement also okay so that will be the content will be in the center of the page and the rest of the space will share the left side and right side equally okay suppose left side the 200 pixel empty space the right side also 200 pixels like auto margin auto space on the left side and right side on the fixed container okay so in that case the content will be center in the page okay like two containers you can create like one is fixed container and another one is 100 percent container like full screen okay if you see other sections also again here the fixed container because we have some space on the left side and right side okay this is fixed container you can see and again this fixed container let me check um, yeah in the photo the dark background color is the 100 percent container like fluid container okay so in this template totally have this one and carousel one the two full screen uh, container with 100 percent and the rest of all fixed containers okay so first i'm going to uh, create containers uh, from the css okay so i'm going to take new file uh, just i'm going to save inside my html template folder inside the css folder here i'm going to say uh, style.css Okay, the first thing what to do, 
the style sheet we should link inside our HTML head section using link tag link and you should see the relevant of the language relevant of the code okay that is uh, style sheet okay and then path to the CSS file where it is inside CSS folder style.css it's like this any style sheet you should link like this using the link tag and the style sheet uh, relevant and uh, path CSS folder okay so now you can write any css in your style sheet and it will apply directly on your web page content if it is a tag selectors it will apply directly if it is a class <coughs> so if it is a user defined class selector you should apply in the html tags okay so here uh, totally uh, three types of selectors uh, i teach you right one is the tag selector class selector and id selector okay but here we are going to use most of this uh, tag and class selectors okay so before going to is uh, uh, write the css uh, we have some reset part because uh, if you see on the basic intro on the header sections h1 h2 uh, we have some uh, uh, like a display block okay margin top and bottom okay uh, font weight bold okay like some default values apply uh, for all the tags of uh, like a headers paragraphs anchor links okay images input boxes okay uh, some default styling will apply so those are all not required actually when you're writing the code uh, it will take like uh, some extra space extra borders uh, the background colors it will take okay by default so that are all not required so i am going to apply my own css so I'm going to uh, remove the basic style of the HTML uh, tags. Okay, so for this we can say the reset. HTML C, uh, reset or uh, CSS reset, you can say. Some of the tags like uh, here, CSS reset, I can just say CSS reset. Yeah, see, okay. So this is like an example code. Let me copy and I will explain you. So, okay. Uh, so here in this uh, reset part, uh, let me put a com comment. okay so here if you see this uh, selectors like html body do span applet object iframe from h1 to h6 okay so most of the tags they listed out as a selectors separating by comma okay this you can say like group selector if you took like more than one selector you can separate using comma okay like h1 comma h2 okay paragraph comma span like that you can use uh, group selectors separating by comma like this all the tags like what are the most of tags we are going to use in our html page okay most of the tags we use like the selectors okay and uh, with the audio video also and in the declaration block what they said the margin zero padding zero so that means all margins and padding they are removing from the basic style Mm -hmm. For the about for the about tags, whatever like H1 paragraphs, okay, or any image, or any other uh, selectors from this list, okay, and body body also will take some default margin, okay. So all margins and padding the remove. So margin zero padding zero means we are going to remove the existing margin and existing padding, okay. And some of the tags will apply some borders, so that also you remove it. And the font size 100%. Okay, and the font inherit. So for, uh, font inherit, this is not required here. I will teach you on this about this. 
Okay. Yeah, inherit means like uh, borrowing from the parent selector. Okay. And uh, vertical align is also not required. Okay. So this is uh, some you know, properties and value to the above tags, above selectors. And coming to the HTML5, HTML5 display role reset for older process. Okay. So this is for the only older process. That's why they said clearly HTML5 display role uh, reset for older process. Like for example, IE uh, 910 okay google chrome 30 40 50 like this okay so for this uh, these are all uh, html5 tags like section article aside details summary all this okay and uh, in the declaration action this set display block so that means all about selectors of inline block inline elements okay so that's why they said display block because by default it should place like side by side all the inline elements okay so but in our layout we are going to use the block elements so block elements uh, so here we are going to use the display block for all the above HTML5 tags selectors okay and here <clears throat> the body line height is one so one is like one pixel so we for the body uh, we need to provide some minimum height for the body content. Okay, so that is line height is one pixel and the OL UL list style none. Okay, so OL UL means what is the default style? I have to choose some uh, two, three default styles for the OL and the UL. Uh, and then, the, uh, order list and an order list right yes 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 um, it's um it's applying some bullet points bullet points yeah it's yes. a okay. mm -hmm. yeah that bullet points not required on uh, the page okay mm -hmm. so that means by default i'm going to remove that bullet points suppose mm -hmm. i want to place some icon or some any custom icon okay mm -hmm. some other bullet point okay so that's why we remove the the default uh, this bullet so later mm -hmm. I can apply my own, like okay. so many tick mark or any other circle, uh, some mm -hmm. styled icon or something. Okay, and mm -hmm. the block quote, block quote, and the quotation mark. Okay, mm -hmm. quotes now. So here by default quotes removing, and I'm applying my own uh, quotation marks for the block quote content. Okay. Okay. So these are all like you can say uh, reset. So which is applying by default. Uh, uh, to your HTML tags, okay. We are going to remove and some of the things we are going to add from the reset, like this, okay. So in the first uh, case, we have to add the uh, CSS reset in your style.css, okay. So what is the benefit? Means, uh, for example, here, um, yeah, for example. You are going to use like a section article aside navigation footer and all. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there is no display block means it will apply uh, side by side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but uh, I don't want that side by side content. Uh, for example, if you want to create like this kind of uh, column like mm -hmm. here. Okay, so this is like a three columns content. So mm -hmm. how it is like side by side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is like side by side means by default it will place side by side, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but here the HTML5 tags were going to convert as a uh, block element, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the tags like for example OL and UL. Mm -hmm. So by default uh, disks I'm removing. I'm going to apply my own icon, my own bullet. Okay. okay, so that means when you're writing, when using multiple times OL or UL or uh, HTML5 article aside tags, so each and every time you have to write a display block and uh, uh, list style none. Okay, each and every selector again you have to write. So this, that means multiple times you need to write and enter the page. Okay, suppose if you're creating like a big template, like suppose enterprise application or some e commerce type of application. 
so you are going to use multiple times ol ul article section okay like a block quote and all okay so that means you are going to repeat the many times that css okay so for ignoring that just we are going to use one time ol ul and just removing the bullet points okay so by default on your page the list style will be none okay later i am going to create one user defined class and i am applying my custom icon or custom bullet okay mm -hmm. so for this we are going to use uh, css reset uh, in the style sheet and now i am going to write my own style here so you can use the comments so this is you can say the comments okay the slash star and star slash okay so in this country in this uh, comment section uh, you cannot see in the browser because uh, the content will be ignored from the browser just for the reference inside the force range okay so here i'm going to say uh, my css or something okay so now as i said before i'm going to create user defined class a container okay Mm -hmm. So inside the content, I'm going to put all the content. Yeah. So here I'm going to write all the declaration, my container width, okay, my container padding, margins, if there is any background color or border, okay, and all this I'm going to write inside the content. Okay. So here first I'm going to say uh, width thousand pixels. This is not a fix. You can give uh, that is your option. Okay. Uh, you can give 1000 pixel, uh, 1000 pixel, uh, 1400 pixel as per your device uh, dimension, as per your design. You can change the 1000 pixels value. Okay. And now this, my width is 100 of uh, 1000 pixel. And now I'm going to say mm. uh, for the display purpose, just I'm applying a border like one pixels and uh, solid and some color the border color here i'm going to say um cabbage. okay so this is user defined class right mm. so this class we should apply in our html page on uh, section <coughs> so, okay so uh, before going to apply this section uh this is like our uh, web page main uh, section so inside mm -hmm. this i'm going to use one more section for the content purpose because we have the mixed uh, containers mixed means like a fixed container and 100 percent containers right mm -hmm. okay so here first i'm going to use the fixed container for the top header okay so here you can use the section open tag and close tag and this header inside this container a class container class okay so that means this is our uh, header section applied the container so all the header information inside my fixed container okay so far it's clear in is there any doubt uh, ananta apurva yeah uh, yeah it's okay i think we have to practice it then when uh, tomorrow i'll ask some questions even i'm uh, doing it probably i may get some questions so okay. okay right now it's okay yeah it's good but while doing it maybe i may get some questions i'll ask tomorrow yes 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 yeah. of course okay okay uh so here uh inside the content i use the header tag and uh, some h1 now let me check how the layout is displaying. Okay, it's like this. Okay, like container uh, with thousand pixels from right. left to right. Okay, with border and uh, some H1 content inside my content. Okay, but in my layout is so this is exactly <clears throat> center in the page. The left side and the right side is auto space. Mm -hmm. okay 
so for this placement you can apply margin zero and auto in your container selector margin zero and auto so like this also you can write more than one value also you can apply in each declaration okay mm -hmm. so, so here we apply yeah tell me so here we put a dot container right so don't we need yes. to put dot container in html as well no no, or no, no. We don't style sheet, dot... no in the style sheet uh, for the creating purpose this whether it is just class selector whether it is id selector whether it is a tag selector for the user defined class selector we are going to use the dot da okay 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 so when mm -hmm. you apply in html you just you can say the class is a full container okay just class name uh, no dot no ash like this. Oh, okay for example it is like a tag no need to apply here so it will apply directly because the browser your know, html page can be understand this is h1 tag it's coming mm -hmm. from the css uh, uh to have some styling so that the style will apply to the h1 but coming okay. to the user different class we should apply okay, okay? Uh, so here when i apply the margin zero auto mm -hmm. now it was placed exactly on the center on the page okay okay and now i'm going to apply more css uh, for this kind of uh, look and feel like <coughs> so and uh, spacing okay top and bottom okay and the font size font name okay and uh, even uh, some drop down also okay and uh, equal space between each navigation item okay mm -hmm. now i'm applying some more css on this before going to apply uh, css i want to apply some background color in my html page instead of using simple white background i'm going to apply some light uh, background color on the web page okay so here I'm going to use the body tag. So body tag means like the complete uh, web page. See, in the HTML, we are starting with the body tag. Right. So inside the body tag, all information here. So that means when you say body tag means, so it will apply enter the web page. Okay. Okay. So here we can say uh, some background color. Uh, let me say some any. Uh, some light color like yeah dark gray something like this okay see some light uh, gray color is applied suppose if you want to customize this this you can see your code here mm -hmm. so instead of giving this color you can customize with your code like for example, you can say still light you can apply. Some light gray color like this. Okay, so light color is. Okay, so this is option for you. Okay, you can apply background color or you want to apply this one. Okay, uh, so uh, the background color applied for the body color and uh, for the content in the container section i'm going to apply the white color because uh, the content should be highlighted on the web page mm -hmm. and it should be readable and it should be a uh, good color like for web supported colors okay here i'm going to say a background color uh, here i'm going to say white color See. now the container section is in white background okay so now the border is not required i will put in comment the border one and uh, i'm going to apply some face padding like around uh, 10 pixels for more space surrounding the text okay now can you see clearly the background the gray color and the container section container with the background color and uh, some space surrounding the text so when you apply the padding on the container section 
it will apply four sides the top right bottom left so how to see this uh, padding value and margin value we can go to right click on the container or any other element okay inspect element and uh, select select your element what is Okay. Yeah. So if I select the body, uh, that is the yeah, body. Okay. So the body means I have applied uh, some background color and RGB values. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the gray color background. Okay. And I come to the container okay section and class container so whatever the css applied or like width okay and the margin background color padding it's applied okay on the right side you can see the box model also mm -hmm. so my container width is 1000 pixel now uh, height is 16 uh, pixels okay and the padding value top mm -hmm. right bottom left 10 10 10 okay and there is no any border just i remove that one okay and there is no <clears throat> any margin on the top and bottom okay mm -hmm. but we have the left side 258 and right side 258 the margin value the equal space on the left side and right side but i didn't mention anywhere in the container so if we want to change the the pixel uh in the the box model can we change yeah. it there? Yeah, we can change anytime. Uh, I think uh, I think yesterday Apuro was trying to change uh -huh. it, but it didn't, it didn't save. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, I tried it with the video, and I did it in the box with the padding. But when I refreshed the page, it went back to the same sizing. Yeah, the we hear the one thing Apuro, which is comes from by default uh, or any tax that we cannot remove directly. Okay but you can overwrite on this on the uh, styles suppose here uh, what we can say here um, the default background color is white for the html page so what i said here the background color is gray color so that means i'm going to overwrite on the existing white color background got it no Easy. i'm talking about i'm talking about when i inserted the video okay so when i put in the video it was really big and in the box i tried to change it to 900 but once i mm -hmm. refreshed the page it went back to its original size oh, okay in the video section you have to say like a percentage uh, percentage you can say pixel also uh, but how you did that one uh, you are applying with the css or you no, applying not, with the not, not here you did check put the inspect right and then we get That's the it. margin and all there mm -hmm. she was trying to change it and then when she changed it it changed but when she refreshed it uh, it uh, went back to the original size like here in the no, border no. Yeah. yeah yeah that's what if it is like uh, the default styling like for example i selected the h1 mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so here you can see the default one which is not changeable the h1 the display block from here okay and the font size okay margins this we cannot uh, remove we cannot uh, edit this one the h1 the default style but using style sheet like for example uh, this is my h1 style that is the default style okay and uh, from the css i can provide uh, i'm going to use the h1 tag okay and here i'm going to say the default color is black my h1 text uh, color and here i'm going to use the color i'm going to use some dark orange. okay now let me check this here. now my text color is orange so that means the default is black color that is comes by default uh, uh, from the h1 okay mm -hmm. that we cannot modify from the uh, element this console part Okay, you cannot modify, you cannot change, but you can debug, you can apply. And once it is working, 
you can go to the style sheet and you can apply CSS, whatever you want. The selector and the declaration. Right, right. But and, uh, but the width and uh, width and height, we cannot change it from there. Height and width. Oh, no. Yeah, width also. You can apply width also. You can apply the width, uh, height, background color, borders, font, custom font. Okay. Not, not here. Uh, not can, here. Not uh -huh. here. Um, from the yeah. console. Yes. From the console. Mm -hmm. No, no. Here we cannot modify. It will we not. Cannot. Apply. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. But it is harder to do it, right? It's uh, near the padding uh, in the box. Um, mm -hmm. It's like let's say right now it's thousand into sixteen, right? Thousand by sixteen. Now it's allowing us to do it. So we thought that we can change it here. Um, yeah, of course you can. You can you can test here. That means uh, debugging. Okay, mm -hmm. suppose here. Uh, I have orange color on the H1 text. Okay, now it is an orange color. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. let me show you that also. I'll clear your doubt. Okay, so here you can click on the first selector and you can change the color. So, any other like a green color or something. Okay, so now some background color is applying on your H1 tag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here it is applied when you write in the console part. Okay, the browser also reflected as per the uh, that CS. Okay, so but when you reload the page, it will not apply. Right, okay? that's what it so has. Yeah, that's what uh, it's only for the testing or debugging purpose. You can check here in the console part. Okay. Okay. Got so it. if you want to apply permanently, you have to uh -huh. use the CSS. CSS. Okay. Okay, then only it will apply the permanent. Okay, the console means like uh, developing uh, debug purpose, testing and debug purpose in the console part. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, how now it is like my H1 is the uh, color is uh, orange color, like uh, some dark orange. Uh, this is on the left side by default. Okay, so as per our layout, we have uh, uh, Three sections: the left side logo and the navigation and right side position. This we can ignore, no, not require the quotation part. Here we can create the two columns, like the left side the logo and the right side the, the navigation section. Okay. So first, I'm going to create like the two sections in the header part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one, the H1 is on the left side inside my uh, div tag. And the second view, I'm going to use uh, navigation, HTML5 navigation tag. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, we need to place the logo is on left side and the navigation is right side. Okay. So for this, I'm going to apply some CSS for placing uh, the logo, the company name or logo on left side. Okay, so here I'm going to say, uh, for example, you can say um, logo something. Okay, so here float left. The float left. The logo class name I'm going to apply here from the div section. Okay, that is logo. Mm -hmm. The float left means the logo section, like a div and inside the div content will mm -hmm. fix on the left side. It okay. will fix on the left side. Okay, I will teach you more on the, the float left and some other problems. Which is not understand, or don't worry. I will teach on the CSS class. After completing the template, I'm going to teach you the CSS3, right? Okay, so in the CSS3, I will teach you more on, the, on this. Uh, okay. Declaration the float left and uh, some other any advanced uh, selectors like the declarations. Okay, so I will teach on this. Uh, the logo on the left side and uh, coming to the next to the right side. Inside the nav, uh, here you can say role equal to uh, navigation. That is a predefined uh, keyword for the okay. navigation. Okay? okay, so inside the navigation, I'm going to use UL and 
list out for listing out all my uh, navigation links okay uh, uh, and uh, inside the li uh, that is navigation right so that it should be clickable element okay clickable text so clickable text means i have to use inside anchor link right uh, uh, so inside the anchor link uh, supposed to say home okay this is my one uh, navigation item with clickable like home uh, okay and now like this i'm going to use like a four or five uh, just repeating home uh, here you can say about us okay and then services This will become like a drop down. I'm going to add later. Okay. And uh, this, like for example, you can say uh, clients or something. Okay. And the last one is contact us. So this is some basic uh, navigation for any website. Home, about us, services, clients, contact us. Okay. So let me check the first how it is displaying. So now it is. Uh, placed on the left side, but it should be on the right side. Uh, we are going to add the CSS for uh, placing on the right side. And uh, what is the default styling for the hyperlinks for the navigation items? The default means the text color is black, blue, and mm. some underli underline also. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, the anchor tag the default size. So now I'm going to remove the default one using CSS. So here. I'm going to use um, for example here you can say anchor tag now I'm going to remove the default underline I don't want that uh, default underline okay so here um, text decoration text decoration uh, none so for uh, applying removing uh, underline you can use the text decoration property and here you can say none for removing the existing underline suppose if you want to under if you want to underline you can just say underline yeah. okay so let me check yeah. now it is removed there's no underline okay so i will say there's some color also in the anchor section some uh, like 90 percent black okay suppose here you go to screen three something like gray color yeah yeah another tell me but we didn't call this a in html right how did it happen with the um how did it yeah, go that's what, that's what i'm telling uh, when you create user defined classes you should apply okay so these are all like uh, h1 and uh, anchor tag and other like ol ul paragraphs all the h1 uh, header tags okay image tags this these are all uh, HTML tags. So here in the CSS, we are going to call like a tag selector. Mm -hmm. So how it is applied in the before the H1 part, I didn't call any like class is equal to H1 like this in the H1 contract. So that means once the page loading, it will start from the top. It will check one by one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it will come to the style sheet. Okay. And the uh -huh. style sheet available style sheet is available in uh, HTML in our uh, project folder okay as yeah. per css rules all the uh, css uh, like uh, tag selectors whatever like a section header div h1 and other nav ul ally will find and if you have any css like using this selector like the h uh, like anchor h1 or paragraph like body so it will apply directly yeah because i got that i i didn't remember that we put this uh, css dot style sheet so whatever we are doing it in style sheet it will come automatically and then it will uh yes yes okay yes. i i got it now i i forgot means i didn't remember that we put this in here yeah got it now okay okay that's what uh, the, we need to link that style sheet in the header section so while well, so, loading the page the style sheet also will apply Right. Okay. So I have a question too. If you were to repeat H1 again, would it be the same color or can we yes, differentiate? 
no no same color until you are changing other color like using some other uh, uh, class user defined class so if you use many times like uh, these uh, here it is uh, h1 tag the same orange color will look okay, okay. Suppose, so if we wanted yeah. to change it to another color in a like uh, let's say the orange color is on top in the middle we wanted to use some other different color then we have to define again uh, H1. yes yes of course okay. yeah so here the two ways uh, like uh, for example if you want to use some uh, other color to uh, other h1 like in the top or middle and bottom of the page mm -hmm. uh, you can use in the uh, like two ways uh, like here you can say like a header and then h1 like this also you can apply so now we tell what happened this h1 color will apply globally enter the page wherever you have the direct access okay all mm -hmm. the h1 tags the mm -hmm. second selector is if you apply the header class on any section so inside the header only this h1 color will apply. okay so suppose okay. let me check here so here i'm going to uh, apply some other color uh, that orange is applied right already okay so i'm going to apply dark white okay mm -hmm. till now there is no any result because the before h1 selector i have the header class okay so this class i'm going to apply um, where it is uh, for example here um, okay let's say here div and here i have one h1 and some uh, second header something okay so that class i'm going to apply in the div section the class head okay. see now the color is applied mm -hmm. okay yeah. mm -hmm. suppose if there is no class in this so what color will apply the default mm -hmm. the main global global class global color Okay. okay so that means the the this h1 is direct access for the entire page wherever you have uh, h1 tags this color like until modifying applying some other class some other id like this okay, okay. okay. so here So now it's clear, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So here. So uh, using the UL li anchor, and again some uh, navigation items, home about services, clients, contractors, and now I'm going to apply CSS for more uh, better look and feel, like how uh, looks like in our template, like some font size, colors, and placing placement all this okay uh, so first of all we need to place uh, the left side compendium and the all navigation items on the right side right so first i'm going to apply the float right on the navigation section so here um, you can say um, main navigation something like this main nav okay for this i'm going to apply uh, float right the before the logo section i said the float left okay mm -hmm. and the navigation section i'm going to bring uh, float right okay so this class i'm applying on the the main navigation part mm -hmm. main navigation so that means this logo should be on the left side and this navigation should be on the right side mm -hmm okay let me check now it is placing on the right side but little bit alignment is different i'm going to fix that one okay so now the content placement is correct uh, the left side company and the right side uh, navigation items okay. okay so now i'm going to use here uh, first uh, about uh, home about services clients and contacts that should be side by side like how it's look like 
Okay. And uh, let me apply the CSS on this. Um, navigation. This is my main uh, parent class for the navigation. So inside okay. navigation, I have anchor tag. No, no. Uh, first, I'm going to access the list item. Okay. And okay. for the list item, I'm going to use float left. Okay. After applying the float left uh, inside my navigation my list item, so it's placing side by side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here uh, let me clear one thing. So these are all like a parent, you can say direct selectors like main now anchor tag, uh, like logo. And suppose if you use like this, the main now ally means okay, wherever you apply the main now class, okay, inside that main now section, all the allies will apply this CCS. So this you can say ally is a child selector of main uh, navigation parent selector mm -hmm. okay so ally is the select, uh, child selector and the main nav is parent selector okay okay so mm -hmm. in this declaration is uh, set the float left so that it's uh, displaying your side by side okay now i'm going to apply some more uh, css for the spacing uh, and uh, uh, font size and all okay so here I'm going to say uh, margin. Uh, for example, you can say uh, 15 pixels. Okay. So each uh, LA is applying margin uh, 15 pixels. So margin 15 pixels is four sides: top, right, bottom, left, like clockwise. The four sides apply all the LAs. You can check like this. Suppose you want to check, just to check the uh, select the ally. Okay, inside the, the float left the margin 15 pixels. Okay, now we can see on each ally. It's highlighting with the orange background. The top, right, bottom, left. Okay, so like this, you can uh, apply some space using the margin and. Uh, so that content everything should be inside by white color container box right so mm -hmm. it, now it just came out from the container mm -hmm. it's inside only but it's look like a outside of my container box okay mm -hmm. so for this i'm going to apply um, where it is my header the container uh, yeah yeah container yeah so here i'm going to use um what is that called Mm -hmm. Useful. Okay. Let me, or else I will create one class for the header. Here is my main header. Role header container header. Do now header. Okay, so in my header, I'm going to create one class. Uh, here I'm going to say class is equal to, uh, you can say main main header. Okay, so this class I'm going to apply. I'm going to write some CSS for this in the main header section. Okay, so in the header section, I'm going to write some height for the header. Height, uh, suppose we can say 100 pixels. So my header height is 100 pixels. Okay, let me check. see. When you apply the header uh, 100 pixels, so now everything is inside my container and inside my header. The left side company name and the right side also. But here uh, there is some a little bit uh, alignment problem. Let's say. The company name it is on the top and uh, the home about services like below of the company name. Like here on the top of this, we have some space. Okay, 
so that also we should fix and uh, let me check like on the as like this in the template it is like a vertical center everything okay uh, the logo company name and the navigation everything is over on the vertical center so that means the top and the bottom equal space mm -hmm. it was aligned horizontally okay in the same line okay so for this i'm going to apply css that is yeah so uh, so here uh, instead of saying 100 i'm going to decrease the some value around uh, 70 pixels and uh, i'm going to say line height line height also uh, no, line height like 35 pixels yeah now the alignment this uh, navigation alignment was fixed the placing on the right side and vertical space equal top and bottom like it's applying line height means it will apply to the navigation main header navigation okay and here but still i have uh, some alignment issue with the company it is on top of this okay so now where is my h1 selected uh, yeah that is okay so here uh, supposed to remove the default uh, margin value okay uh, margin at zero so that means um, i show you uh, in the element uh, section right in the developer tools the margin is some like around uh, what is the value like around uh, some 20 or 30 pixel will apply by default mm. okay so that i am going to remove in the h1 section let me check still some problem is still okay float clear no clear fix both Uh, let me uh, create one class uh, for fixing the float elements okay clear fix class uh, clear both so clear both means so wherever you apply the float like the left and right okay there it is yeah the main navigation left uh, the float uh, left and uh, main navigation right okay so in between that we are going to apply the clear fix class okay that declares clear pole so that means when you applying the float like whether it is left or right okay so it's applies some like uh, some uh, value like uh, uh, float value means so it will place like uh, up and down okay for removing that float just i'm going to apply this uh, clear fix class so here let me apply between the uh, logo section and the navigation section. If it's work, fine. Uh, good luck. Other, otherwise, I will teach other alternate. Okay, so for here I'm going to use the empty tube. The clear fix. Hello. 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 Rale the inka class in Pampas or no? Rale the inka. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? 
okay so here uh, i think this uh, the do uh, class clear fix we can use later okay yes. okay so in the header section like where it is our uh, logo part so here i'm going to use some width like a fixed width here uh, let's say like a 200 pixels here Okay, float left and uh, put 200 pixel the logo section here. Okay, and this one uh, it is like uh, the H1 also. Uh, you can say line height. Where it is line height. Hmm. Still, why it's happening? Suppose if you are facing this kind of uh, problems, just check the elements. Uh, just check the H1. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's correct, exactly. Both of the correct logo H1. The navigation. This is my main header. Okay. <coughs> Company name. Okay. Okay. Let me give height uh, for the logo also uh, for the H one the logo so actually what is our main header height uh, main header width is height is 70 pixels height okay mm -hmm. the same height i'm providing for the logo also and the line height also here for it so this logo class is on the h1 tag right Okay. Mm. Let me check here. Mm. Yeah. So, not applying anything. Class logo. logo and H1. Color margin zero to line eight. Okay. It's applying, okay. so it's not applying other things. 200.
Okay, let me check this support value. You know, I don't apply some CSS whether it is applying or not. Okay. That's okay. This is okay. So here we should apply the seventy pixels, not thirty. Okay. So here uh, in the H one section, the line height should be seventy pixel because our uh, logo header height is seventy pixels. So the same mm -hmm. value uh, we need to provide as a line height on the H one. Okay, so now let me change the sound to pieces. Okay, now it is uh, parallel, like a horizontal center, horizontal and vertical also, like some equal space. Okay, now remove the background color. Just uh, for the testing purpose, I'm using this background color, whether it's applying or not. Okay, so now it's clear everything. So now yes. it is the company name on the left side, on vertical center, the navigation on the right side, and even though this also on the vertical center. Okay, uh, so like this you can create, and uh, uh, the next class I'm going to apply more CSS like the font size, colors, and the mouse over CSS and the drop downs on services. Okay, that will be shown the tomorrow class. Okay, it's like how it's look like this. Okay, so so far it's clear. Is there any doubt in this? Uh, uh, and, uh, no, not right now. It's clear, right? Okay, mm. okay. And one more thing, I will share this file, uh, both of you, and mm. uh, practice on this the same way. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Okay, and uh, this video and file I will share when sort of something. Okay, sure. Okay? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. bye. bye.